have eight remaining silver rowana. As I said, three of them they killed themselves, one of them was sold out of the twelve. Looks like everybody's feeding well this morning, except for that the smallest guy, he's not feeding. And I don't know why. He was feeding yesterday and throughout all this time the smallest arowana was feeding well. Even though it prefers blood worms. I don't think I ever saw it take a pellet, which may explain why it is so small still. Blood worms can't really feel them and give them enough sustenance to to grow. Probably plus the genetics. But anyhow, it, it, it concerns me that he has no appetite. So I'm going to have to put him away behind the divider. Take a look at Dorado and give him something to eat as well. The hickory floating pellets. Ever since the initial two kills of Dorado on Dorado, this guy, this guy, these guys have been good, just tethered fins every now and then, but no, no significant damage. They're growing tremendously. a tethered fin, obvious, obviously, tethered fin, the caudal fin. This one, the bottom of the tail is tethered. Everybody else is to be all right. Actually, a couple of them also have a little nicks on the tail. I'm making them nervous, I can tell. Okay, I'll let you eat. Be some quiet. Yeah, the Rado more or less alright, but the Arowana is, is of concern, little old guy. I'm trying to be proactive because every time I take fish out when they already have significant damage, it's too late, because the damage is late and then it gets worse even after you separate it. It turns out that the damage was worse than I thought. That's the guy I'm concerned with. Concerned for. The smallest arowana went behind the divider. Hope a little bit in time and enough. I don't know. With my track record, I could not have. I, I have zero success so far. I've already killed three, and now this one has not been eating and it looks stressed. Okay, so this guy didn't make it either. So that's uh, kill number four. About six inches, one of the smallest ones in, in the tank. Probably was the smallest one. 
it spent two or three days behind the divider. I thought it was going to recover, but it didn't. As I was advised by Phil, I placed this a bunch of uh, plastic plants in the corner here to break up some line of vision so that I don't see each other all the time and not in each other's faces all the time either. But a couple of the smaller ones are, I see they're uncomfortable, don't eat too much. And a couple of the biggest, bigger ones, especially one, has damage in the same spot. This guy right here. Right where the, the first two had their damage started and then went down towards the tail. So they, they seem to favor that spot to attack on their schoolmates, shoalmates. <laughs> 